So today I got this sword here that I made a long, long time ago. And I made it by just welding various pieces together. Like uh, this is the neck to a shovel. You can still see the numbers on there. This is some blades for a piece of agricultural equipment I cannot remember. I'm not sure what it's for, but I know these are two blades, these pieces. And I welded them together on each end across the blade to create this guard. And this is the top, or both of these, are the top to two uh, like semi truck lug nuts. It's just the top of the bolt. It was perfect. It was a great counterbalance. And then this was just a stock piece of steel that I sharpened up on the sides. This isn't as sharp as I wanted to get. This is the first sword I ever made. Uh, I didn't forge it. You can see I welded it together everywhere and tacked it and whatnot. This is when I was first getting started. But I thought I'd been having it hung up on the wall over there beside that. And I uh, thought it'd be cool to give it a makeover. And what I decided I was going to do was take the entire blade, j just the blade part, so from here on down, and clean it up with the angle grinder. I've just got a flap disc on there, so it'll take off the surface stuff. And then I'm going to use an engraver and engrave some cool designs on it. I don't know exactly what, but I'm going to go for either a uh, just some swirl patterns or maybe attempt to draw some stuff, but we'll see when we get there. All right. I just cleaned this side. You can see it is very shiny. It is very smooth. And just for comparison, I'm going to flip it over here. So that's what it used to look like. Still shiny, but dingy in it. It's not smooth. It's got that rust on it. Just that surface rust. But I took all that off. Now it gleams like a mirror. I'm going to do that to this side. Alright, I just cleaned this side. So now they both are shiny and clean and clear of rust. Now I'm going to start engraving. Alright, so I think I'm going to start from the end of the blade and work my way down. And I'm just going to start doing like curls and swirls and see how that ends up looking.
So as I've been going and uh, doing this, I noticed that it's easier to like start one big branch that makes its way down and then uh, as you keep going you can branch off that further with other little designs like you know curls and lines and whatnot. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a big line with swirls and whatnot in it and then I'm going to come off of it.